Hey, it's Lee Giles from Easy Peasy All in Homeschool. Tell you another miracle story um, tonight. This is from the time we were living in Istanbul. And my husband had left his job uh, because he felt led to. And um, sometimes he would um, get asked to teach a private English lesson or something. So sometimes there'd be some money coming from that. Um, but we didn't have any um, regular income and there was no regular support coming from America. Um, we had left that system of raising support. Um, you can read the whole story um, on the site uh, and I'll put this on the blog as well. Um, So eventually we ran out of money, which was expected. <laughs> um, when we did it, when he left his job, you know, to us it felt like stepping out of the boat, if you know that Bible story. Um, and at that point, I pretty much expected that we would be tested, um, that we really were trusting the Lord to keep us from sinking. So eventually we ran out of money. Um, next week I will do all money miracles. Um, and some of them are from this time of just how the Lord provided for us. Um, there are lots of different ways and God is infinitely creative. So it was never the same way twice. Um, he would, you know, sometimes it was just as simple as someone at church slipping money into one of our coat pockets or into our Bibles. Um, we're assuming it was people from church doing that. Um, we'd come home and find, you know, 10 bucks or something. Um, we had neighbors bringing us food and clothing. Um, so, but we never like told our need to anyone. Um, we didn't ask for any thing and, you know, we didn't send out, we weren't doing that whole system. We know there were no prayer letters going out saying, pray that we have enough money, <laughs> you know, in it. Um, so it wasn't anything like that. But occasionally someone would um, send us money, um, you know, to say the Lord, you know, feel like the Lord sent us to send money. Um, is it okay if we do that? And we'd like, you know, you obey, do what you have to do. So uh, we were down to nothing. Um, it got to the point we didn't, we had used up everything in the house. My daughter asked repeatedly after this time period, can we go back and do that again? That was so much fun. Um, you know, trying to use up every last thing in the house. Um, so it was never a time of lack. It was never a time of like worry and scared. My kids thought this was like the best time ever. Um, but we got to the point of having one coin left. And so I was sitting there, we're out of milk, we're out of bread, don't want flour. Do I buy bread um, in the morning for breakfast or do I buy a little like a uh, pint of milk because um, we were out of milk and I had a one-year-old who was going to want milk before bed. So I decided, in retrospect, I wish I had bought the milk just so I could say we were completely out of money. Um, but I decided breakfast was better share bread with everyone. So the first miracle was that the one-year-old didn't ask for milk before bed. I was expecting him to cry. So there was never any, um, the kids never missed anything. Uh, he never cried for his milk. He just went to bed. Um, but after he went to bed, uh, my husband's like, well, I want to check the bank account one more time. 10 o'clock at night, you know, before we go to bed, I'm going to check the bank one more time. Now, um, if someone happened to send us something, um, I don't even know that they would send it right to our bank account. But anyway... They had, you know, if someone gave us something, it would end up going to pending balance. And it would take a few days before it was available to us. But he checked 10 o'clock at night, and they are in the available balance, direct deposit, as if someone walked in and put cash in the bank for us, um, was $1,000. Now, because of where we lived um, in like a ghetto area and just around the world, $1,000 was a whole month's income for us. 
Um, so just like that, I mean, we had bills due the next day, you know, very dramatic, last minute um, rescue by the Lord. Um, you know, the only people with our bank information were my parents um, and like a ministry that we had given to and they took stuff out of our bank account. Like I even like contacted them and like, did you send anything? <laughs> and my parents at the time were in China. Um, they weren't doing anything with the bank. Um, so I checked what I could, but, um, it just seemed to be a direct deposit from the Lord, um, paid for the next month's, um, income. Um, but it wasn't, a you know, scary time. We weren't begging the Lord to provide. I remember saying to my husband, this is it, this is it. You know, like he's got to come through. Like there's no more, like you know, little by little getting by, like, he's got to come through. This is going to be it. Um, so that's what it can be like knowing the Lord. Um, when other people would look around at the circumstances and go, we're in trouble. Uh, we can look around at our circumstances and go, this is going to be exciting. What's God going to do? Um, so I'm hoping some of you who say you know the Lord and maybe struggling with um, questioning <laughs> how this is all going to work out, um, that you could turn that into excitement. Remember um, who our God is. Um, and if you don't know him, maybe you want to get to, because doesn't it sound fun being excited um, about the future instead of worried about it? <laughs> all right, I'm going to take off for the weekend, um, but um, all next week, starting Monday, I will Next week's going to be Money Miracles. Um, and I can do this for weeks to come because God's good all the time.